Heavenly Father, I thank you for waking me up this morning, Lord. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your kindness. I thank you for your grace. Father, I thank you for who you are. You are King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the ending. Father God, I thank you for your presence, your Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit that's inside of me right now, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, oh God, for your shalom peace that's flooding through me right now, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your grace and mercy. Father, I put on your whole armor right now, and I come boldly to your throne of grace and mercy. To Barak. Father, to barak you, to bless you, Father God, to bless your holy name, oh God, to worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord. Father, I soak myself with the blood of Jesus. I ask, oh God, that you will please forgive me of every sin, anything that I said, anything I thought about, anything I have done to displease you, to grieve your Holy Spirit, Father, reveal those things to me. I repent. I repent right now, Lord. I cast my cares upon you. Father God, and I run away from the sinful things. Sinful ways, Father God, I run to you. Father, I can just see you embracing me right now. As I run into your loving arms, oh God. Father, I thank you that I am inscribed in the palm of your hands. Lord, I thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I worship you, oh God. In spirit and in truth. I adore you. I magnify your holy name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And so, Father God, right now, I lift up our children to you in the name of Jesus. I soak them with the blood of Jesus. Father, you said it's the effectual, fervent prayers of a righteous man that avail it much. And so, Lord, I lift up the children to you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Send your angels to help them now, Lord. Send your warrior angels, your ministering angels, to help them now. Father, I thank you that you are waking them up right now. Their eyes are wide open. Father, I breathe your Ruah upon them. Father God, release your breath upon our children. Breathe upon them, Lord. Revive them. Wake them up, Father God. Let them see Christ. Let them see you, Father, high and lifted up. Wake them up, Lord. Wake them up spiritually, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, you gave me a dream two days ago. And I saw wake up. And it was spelt W, the number eight, K-E. And then up. And it was written on a blue vehicle. I know blue represents heavenly things, represents healing. Lord, I thank you that you are healing our children right now, wherever they are, oh God. Whatever they're doing, Lord, I thank you that their eyes are wide open like you did for the prodigal son. Lord, I thank you that you stand watch over them, Father God. You're standing over them, oh God. You're watching over the word that we place inside of them, oh God. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11, that's their portion, Lord. Lord, I thank you that you're stirring up 
your Holy Spirit on the inside of them. You're stirring up your word. Your word is fire in their bones. Father God, you're waking them up now to their purposes in the name of Jesus. You're stirring up their gifts. They're chasing after you, oh God. They hunger and thirst after your righteousness, Abba. And you are filling them up in the name of Jesus. They are alert. They are vigilant. They're filled up with your wisdom. Filled up, oh God, with your knowledge and your understanding. They're wide awake in their soul, spirits, Father God. They are wide awake in the name of Jesus. They are alert. They are alert. They're praying attention to your word. They're led by your spirit. They're led by your spirit, Father God. They're sensitive to your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Our children are no longer sleeping. They're reading the word, Father God, because you're giving them the desire, oh God, to read the word. To obey the word, oh God. Father, I thank you that they are the salt and the light of the earth. In the name of Jesus, they are like Mary. Father, they are obedient. You're sending your angels to them now, like for your father, like you did in Luke 1 for Mary. And so, Lord, I thank you that our children are blessed by you and they are highly favored. And you are with them. You will never leave them nor forsake them. Our children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be their peace. The angel went to Mary and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. And so, Lord, I thank you for Luke 1, I plant this seed of the word in the soil of our children's heart, Father God. The soil is the Holy Spirit. The seed is the word. And so, Lord, I thank you that you are with them. And they feel your shalom peace right now. They feel your love. They feel your joy. They are stirred up wide awake, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And so Lord, I thank you that the, the angel said to Mary, do not be afraid. You have found favor with God. And so Lord, I thank you that our children are no longer afraid. But Father, they have perfect love. They have you, Father. You are love. You are perfect love. They have faith in you and they're leaving the world and run into the word of God and they walk in your favor. They have your grace and your mercy. They have the Asher blessing, Father, all over them in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that they have found favor in your eyes, Lord, like Noah. You're giving them divine comfort, Lord, divine strength. They're pregnant with your word and they give birth to your promises, Lord. In the name of Jesus, they are saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, water baptized, Father. They serve Jesus, the Son of the Most High, El Elyon. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus. And the angel answered her because she said, how will this be? How is God going to give me a baby when I'm a virgin? And so, Lord, I thank you that you are a God who you do do the impossible. Father God, now unto him who's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ever ask or imagine. According to the power of the Holy Ghost on the inside of us, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead is inside of us, inside of our children. And so, Lord, I thank you that it's the Holy Spirit huh, that's going to do this. The Holy Spirit will come on you. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And so Lord, I thank you that your Holy Spirit is upon our children. Your power, Father God, is overshadowing them. Father God, outweighing every problem. They feel the weight of your glory. And you're making them beautiful. You're giving them beautiful ashes, oh God. You're stirring them up. They're obedient like Mary. And they're chasing after you. And like Mary, they say the same thing. I am the Lord's servant. May your word be fulfilled. Lord, I thank you. This is the day that you're speaking to our children on the 10th day of June, 2022. Your word, Father God, will be fulfilled. And I cover this prayer with the blood. And I seal it and our children with the seal of the Holy Ghost. 
They are victorious on repeat, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Amen.